holy smokes, the trailers, they just don't stop. This is Guillermo del Toro's new movie called Pacific Rim. And I was like, oh, Pacific Rim, like a war movie? Kind of, but not really, more or less. Chaos is spreading around the globe as leaders run the then I remembered, I was like, oh, there's that viral video where the big monster starts tromping on things. And that's pretty much the premise of the movie. There was a big crack in the ground and monsters have come out of it. And now they're just going to wipe us all out. Something out there had discovered us. But mankind was like, ah, we got you covered because we watched Power Rangers growing up. So yeah, we had a contingency for this shit. So now we have big robots that people get into and control and kick the shit out of the monsters. <laughs> At first I was like, that sounds remarkably cheesy, but this might just be awesome. And we got Idris Elba in command, yet there's no way we're gonna lose this war. We win, we know that right now. At the edge of our hope. At the end of our time. We have chosen to believe in each other. I'm not even gonna say this movie's like Transformers, because that's completely cutting it short. It's not really like Transformers. This movie, all right, here's what it's like. Pacific Rim is like Power Rangers and Real Steel had a kid, and Real Steel got pregnant with the love child, and then Real Steel cheated on Power Rangers with Godzilla, and then got pregnant with Godzilla's love child also, and inside the fetuses joined to make some cinematic super baby called Pacific Rim. That is this movie. Initiating launch operation. Gypsy danger. Yeah, but wait, wait a minute. What, what? Say something again, robot voice. Pilots, ready to connect. Let's go fishing. Two pilots engaged in neural bridge. Is that Gladys from Portal? If it's not Gladys from Portal, it's GLaDOS from Portal, because no one really knows how to pronounce her name, but it's her. Ready to activate the Jaeger in three, two, one. Oh, good. There you are. Let's get started. That is the robot that messed with my mind for two games. All right, backtracking a little bit. Any human beings who were controlling big mechs to stomp on Godzilla monsters, get out of the mechs now. She's going to kill you. We're going to lose. She's going to feed you promises of cake. The cake is bullshit. We're dead, mate. Gladys wins. That is totally her from Portal. And I personally, people are bitching about, how can you bitch about that? Dude, really? I got to think someone on the production team of Pacific Rim was like, dude, all right, I'm going to slip in Gladys's voice from Portal. And no one, like, it, by the time anyone notices, it's gonna be too late. Good job, whoever did that. You are a patriot. In reality, though, monster movies are really tough to do. You can make them, but it's usually grade B bullshit where it costs five bucks to make and people are like, this is gonna bomb in the box office. It's not gonna do well. They got Del Toro behind it, though. That makes people go, wait a minute. You mean they're really trying this time? I get there's been Cloverfield and some monster movies did work and people did like them, but monster war movies where you fight them with robots? How did you even pitch that to a studio? Today we are canceling the apocalypse! So yeah, in a bizarre and strange turn of events, I'm looking forward to this movie. You give me Godzilla with robots with a credible director, I'm probably gonna be like, all right, yeah, let's do that. At least I, you have to see. So Pacific Rim, have you seen the trailer? What do you think about this movie? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.